Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I like to post about books and music, mostly Taylor Swift. I have another lyric now finally other than now I've read all of the books beside your bed that applies to my love of both Taylor Swift and books. Welcome back to another update in my series. Is it actually a good outfit or is it just nostalgia? While I literally get in a fight with this slowly creeping up my shoulders off the shoulder top that I just like can't seem to make peace with. I do not have broad shoulders. They're very sloped so things just tend to like slide and creep if there's an elastic band anywhere close. I literally wore like Harry Potter merch in my last one for red. I have a few different eras in this series. They will all be linked down below in a playlist and today we're going to be doing the Speak Now era. In my head I feel like she got really good during the red era. That was when I think her stylist was like okay let's try these high-waisted shorts and she was reluctant at first but for the most part I just love the red era look and I like when she brings stuff back that is kind of reminiscent of that 2012 to 2014 time period but I think there was kind of a fun little boho vibe going on in 2010 2011 and we're going to be the judge of that today also I am in desperate need of video ideas please leave them down in the comments I'll probably make an actual post in my community tab at some point soon I just feel like things are feeling stale I have my Lana Del Rey series going on particularly what kind of Taylor related videos do you want to see from me or book related of course I kind of took a brief hiatus of posting like book stuff because I stopped doing monthly wrap-ups because those are just doing better on TikTok than on YouTube for me so I just started moving them over there. I am filming a Throne of Glass reading review. I will be filming my Ukrainian mom guesses whether lyrics are from Taylor Swift songs or Shakespeare. That's going to be coming up very soon. Next week I'm going to be doing an update in my series of reacting to your unpopular Taylor Swift opinions. Those videos tend to do pretty well. Just whatever else you want to see please tell me. I'm running out of ideas. More than likely I will follow your request. I'm just running out of things but yeah please help a girl out okay so we have a lot of different outfits over here starting off with this enchanted haunted dress this is from the original speak now album booklet this dress is fine it looks kind of spider webby i don't know we didn't get any other pictures of this one so it's kind of hard to tell but it feels like a pretty just stereotypical speak now dress next we have what i think is from a magazine shoot it's just a plain white floral dress with a yellow belt this feels very 2010s to me this feels like something i would have worn to sixth grade on like the first day of school it's like modest it's that floral print that everyone was kind of obsessed with at that time period. It's mid. <laughs> Next we have the mean music video flapper dress. I'm in love with this and I also think it might be God's here because I think this was honestly revolutionary because we saw this style get brought back during the 1989 era but typically with a cropped sort of set like she played in at the Grammys, the silver top and bottom thing, that 1920s flapper look with the sparkles. It's just been a constant throughout her career in different forms like during Speak Now obviously Obviously it was this like tank top style long dress but then during 1989 it was like let's do a two-piece set oh god is this what she wore to play with John Mayer in should that be at the bottom just for like the principal I hate it oh my god the way she's touching his shoulder Oh, this is unfortunate. It's actually really cute. Wait a second, that might be different. God, she wore so many repeats of like nearly the same identical outfit, but like slightly different. The John Mayer Association gives me a bad taste in my mouth. Right under God tier. It's good. I love the sparkles. Here's another example of one of those very conservative, this time lacy instead of floral, high neckline sleeveless dresses that she wore at that time period. And honestly, I did too. The very conservative. It's fine. Oh gosh, this one. This might be from the album booklet or maybe a magazine Shoot. I'm not entirely confident, but I remember the style of dress. I'll put some more examples on the screen of what this kind of dress looks like from the front. These were so popular in 2010. A lot of people were wearing these to like formal or like the different dances we had in middle school. My experience only stems from me being 11, 12 during this time period, so I think it was a vibe for the time. Here's where we get into this boho hippie territory that honestly has been coming back in recent years. Trends are cycling so much faster now. I think this is really versatile and honestly a little bit timeless, no pun intended. Okay, now we have this black trench coat, raspberry colored top, black pants. This is boring. I've never thought about this. Okay, then we have this look. Oh my gosh, she has the 13 on her hand, so this was after a concert, I'm assuming. Yellow skirt, long sleeve. It's kind of boring. Yeah, now that I'm looking over all of these, I think red just slayed a lot harder as an era. It's better than this weird shapeless raspberry blazer thing in the same tier. Did somebody seriously put this look from, I think this is the album booklet. This has to be the story of us. Uh, yeah, standing alone in a crowded room. Okay, the top is boring. I mean, we have to be honest here, but I think this necklace is really cute. I think we were really into 
into the big pendants back in 2010. The side braid. Oh my god, I miss those. You know what? For the side braid and the locket, it's going in the under the god tier. Okay, now we have the album cover. <laughs> Honestly, I think this is a lot better than what she ended up doing for Taylor's version. That weird tool is so... Especially when you see the full body image of it, it's very runway couture. And I think what was so endearing about the original album cover was that it was so... First of all, it's a painting. I wish she would have done like a photograph and had an artist paint the actual cover. I love the way the dress flows like it's watercolor. I mean, obviously it's painted on, but it just looks like it has so much more movement to it. I like the spin. I don't like the stiffness of the Taylor's version cover, but it's fine. At least she kept the purple vibe. This is, it looks like a bird pattern. I could be wrong. Why do I feel like she's walking through an airport in this photo? The tights are kind of cool. Vertical stripes, that's fun. But overall, forgettable. <laughs> and then we have whatever the hell this monstrosity is. Here we are again with these layers of tulle. But it's interesting because that Taylor's version cover is a nod to how obsessed we were with tulle in 2010. The way she throws a belt over that t-shirt. I kind of like the bag. The bag is interesting and definitely has that 2010 boho vibe again. It's a flop though. This is just a classic red and white tank top. <laughs> I feel like this must be from the album booklet. Why else would she be holding a guitar like this? It's not ugly, but it's not memorable. Here we go again with this mustard yellow housewife look with the high neckline. So she's performing somewhere in this. When you Google Taylor Swift performing yellow dress, that one does not even come up, which is telling. I think she looks better in a brighter yellow, honestly. I mean, the Evermore dress looks really nice because it's flattering. Yeah, God, her style has gotten so much better, I think. Ugh, especially when you go from that to this, this is not good looking. But I think it's better than the other ones in the lol no tier. This is one of the dresses from the Speak Now tour. This has a special place in my heart. I feel like it is nostalgia. It's gonna go right here. I think it's really pretty. She looks pretty good in champagne. I always struggle. Like I feel like blondes, sometimes you can work champagne, sometimes you can't because it looks just like your skin color and your hair color and like it's tricky. I feel a lot more comfortable in darker colors because it contrasts. Ooh, this straight hair was such a fucking serve. This is again going in god tier. This was the red hair before the red hair was a thing. There there is a slight weirdness to it. I feel like those are clip-on bangs. The first few times we saw her with bangs, I do believe they were clip-on, and those are just gonna look a little bit awkward no matter what you do, but this was a sign. This was an Easter egg. Oh, this was such a serve too. Oh my god, this black and white tied up on the train tracks. They went so hard for the lyric booklet. Like, I remember seeing this when I was 11 and just being like, this is nuts. Like, is this gonna be some kind of... I think this was in the music video too, though, wasn't it? The mean music video was so good. I could be wrong. They might have just done that for the album booklet. Either way, I love it. I love of the attention to detail. Okay, this one is tricky for me. I cannot believe this is from the Speak Now era. She looks so much older here. There's like this sultriness to her, but are we surprised now that we have I Can See You as a vault track? Something about this is a little bit of a sleigh. Now we have again a cream dress, but with a light gray cardigan over it. The tones in the dress and the cardigan are very similar, but then we have this like pop of color with the bag. The bag is cute again. Yeah, I notice in outfits I don't like a whole lot. Usually the bag is the highlight. That'll go there. This feels like a red era look. She looks cold. I like how they cut her head off. That's funny. I mean, it's a flop though. It's not memorable, but maybe this was on the tail end of the Speak Now era because it feels red coated. Okay, now this feels really red coated. I think this was for a Target commercial. This looks really good on her, but I honestly just don't think the look is that interesting. Like it doesn't stick out to me at all. It's gonna go in the top of the mid tier. Here's what I'm talking about when I say Taylor Swift just looks better in a brighter yellow, like this canary yellow. I don't know what it is. I've heard she's a spring on the color analysis, whatever it's called. Yeah, mustard yellow is probably more for like autumns. This was a vibe. I really like how this looked and it's very 2010s. I like how it has some movement to it as well. I think we kind of lost that in the Taylor's version. There's just no movement to that dress. Other than some of the other photos we've gotten where she's wearing that like pinkish dress, I think that one did have a little bit more flow to it. I love this one. This is my fairy princess dreams. That's all I have to say about that. The champagne is so pretty. I love the way the glitter is like on the top half, but not really on the skirts. But the parts that are on the skirts are like really gradual. I'm explaining that so piss poorly. This, okay, she's performing. Yep, again, when you Google Taylor Swift performing pink long sleeve, you do not get that picture. It's a very casual look. Is she literally just wearing jeans and a pink long sleeve? It's kind of boring. It's more flattering than a lot of these mid-tier ones though. Now we have this, and she's playing piano. This one doesn't stick out to me either. It's going for that fairy princess dress look that she was doing a lot at that time, but just not very 
very successfully executed. I don't know. This isn't memorable. There's a lot of flops in this era. I also don't think that color looks that great on her. She looks really washed out. Like that cream white. I think she looks better in a champagne. Like a peachy. Yeah, the difference between these two is like staggering. She's literally glowing in the other one. Okay, this is so simple and so plain, but like iconic. I think this is from the Back to December music video. I love the way the neckline of this tank top looks distressed. Like it's not a finished seam. It looks so cozy. I love this like light brown cardigan. I like how it actually contrasts with the tank top in comparison to whatever this beigey dress with this light gray cardigan. Boring. But this is like kind of a moment and with the snow coming down and her hair looks really cool. I don't know. That's a vibe. Okay, this. This was also a moment and I know I just bitched about the black blazer and the black pants with this raspberry top underneath it, but this feels like just such a girl boss. I know exactly what her hair looked like in that picture without even having to see it. I think this was indicative of a lot of looks to come. Yeah, she started really favoring pantsuits. This was the first experimentation of it. Okay, this is so simple and so classic, and I know I've roasted other things for being too simple, but this is like, the cut of the neckline is a lot better. I think the waistline is a lot more flattering than some of these other ones we've seen, particularly this mustard yellow performance dress. I can't remember exactly where this is from, but I recognize the picture. Like, I actually remember it in my head. You know what? That's gonna go here. It's very red lip classic thing that you like. That shade of red looks so good on her. This looks like an outtake from the Speak Now album shoots. It looks like it's from Teardrops on My Guitar. That teal color is very debut. I like the movement to it and I think it's fine. Top of the mid tier. God, this thing is so fucking ugly. <laughs> what is this flap in the front? This tool is like this weird sheer, but it's like when it bunches up on itself, it becomes way too thick and ends up hiding the pattern. That's rough. That's the worst one so far. Ooh, we're getting a little gothic in this one. This is fun. This is so ABBA. <laughs> This feels like the ABBA Super Trooper video. I recently watched it because my mom was trying to convince me they were saying Sudafed, Sudafed. English is not her first language. And I'm like, mom, they're not talking about Sudafedrin. <laughs> so I showed her the music video and this is what they look like. Ooh, I don't know. It feels dated. It doesn't feel inspired. It feels like too old, not refreshed in any way. This is fine, expected, safe. It's a decent color, a lot more flattering than some of the other mid-tier ones. Okay, this is kind of interesting. I wish I knew where this was from so I could see more photos of this. I like this weird bow in the front and I like her hair. We have this side ponytail. What was with us and putting our hair to the side? That's gonna go here, it's fine. Another silver sparkly dress, but not nearly as iconic as a lot of the other ones. I have to say. This is a very fearless coded photo, not super speak now. I remember this and I was obsessed with this. See, sometimes I see like barely any of it and I just know what it's from. This was that, what was it, a Vogue shoot that Alice in Wonderland themed? I feel like her Vogue shoots are the best because they just do such cool stuff with her. Those are the most memorable ones, honestly. Like the way they pose her, but also that's where she got her bangs in, I think it was 2012, they cut bangs on her and then she just never grew them out. Vogue is the reason we have T-Swift bangs. I can't find this shoot that I'm thinking of, but just like trust me when I say this. This was Red Reminiscence and so cool. My music video, okay, so the entire concept of the video I think is a lot more memorable than the outfits and that's fine, but yeah, we're just gonna rate that somewhere here. I've got a long fucking way to go, so I'm going to stop uh, ranking them within the tier and just throwing them in the tiers. This was when she- did she perform Mean at the Grammys? Yeah, she did. Okay, I have to say, ooh, we have the red hair coming through. Oh, she looks pissed. I don't know, this dress is a flop to me, especially when she like absolutely fed us in the music video. This is just not that great. I don't know, maybe she was going for an even older look. It feels almost like 1800s-y. Yeah, the entire vibe here. I like the 20s feel a little bit more. This is very fearless coated, but I don't give a shit. Honestly, we didn't have super distinct eras until the red era anyways. So that's fine with me. I think this moves so beautifully on stage when she twirls around. Oof, the strange salmon monstrosity. This is fine, but I don't think it's that flattering. Orange, creamsicle vibe. This is kind of boring me too. Then we have, okay, I know exactly where this is from. This is the album booklet in the Speak Now lyrics. Was that dress always that hot pink? I think it's mid. I think a hot pink is interesting, but overall it's... You know what would have been so funny? If it was red. <laughs> Wearing red to a wedding and then objecting. That's kind of funny. Again, we have this strange 50s look. I think this is 50s, 70s, something like that. I think it's from the same shoots as this one. It's not as bad. 
the top of the low tier. Oh my god, this was a vibe. That looks so fucking comfortable. For comfort alone, it's gonna be somewhere toward the top of the mid. Looking at it now, I feel like by 2023 standards, it's a little frumpy. It's a little ugly. Why is that sweater so oversized? But you know what? I like how the floral pattern peeks out from underneath it, and I bet she was really comfortable. It's also not a bad color. This was cute. I definitely would have worn this in 2010 or 2011. Something about this is so flattering and cute to me. Is it a halter neck? I don't recognize this, but I love it. I love the sky blue base color of the dress. See, this is mustard yellow, but it's a lot more flattering and it's cut and it's not entirely mustard yellow. It actually has a little bit of deviation from that. Ooh, this was fun. This was on the Speak Now tour. I think the haunted dress is better and I don't like how this doesn't have any fringe on it. It's kind of like, what's the point, you know? It's a really good color. I feel like when she wears the correct shade of red, it is like the most stunning shade on her. And when it matches her lipstick, it's so cute. Yeah, I don't think it's stagey enough. I actually like this one. This feels retro in a refreshed way. I think it's from the same shoot as this one, but this one feels like she's wearing her grandmother's top. And this one feels like she spent some time in her grandmother's closet and then like bought something not as old or like wore the top that her grandmother had in a different way. Something about it still feels distinctly 2010. It just doesn't feel as dated. But don't get me wrong, like it's not that great. <laughs> mean music video again. I think this is better. It wasn't the mean music video, like she started off singing it in like this outfit. And then by the end, she switched to that flapper and it was like, oh look, I'm in a big old city now. This is better than what she wore to play at the Grammys. This is pretty mid. Well, that one was just not good. Yeah, this one's fine. Ooh, this is so dark academia, gossip girl, God tier. I don't even fucking care what you say. <laughs> this was such a vibe. I love how iconic this is. It reminds me of Avril Lavigne a little bit or like Britney Spears. And when I did my Does Betty Take James Back video and I dressed as like, I was referencing that meme from It's Always Sunny where he's like going crazed and like talking in front of this whole diagram and map. And so I wore a similar outfit, but because it was like a white button up top and a tie, people were like, you look like you're from the Story of Us music video. I love that. I love how it's just like such a simple thing, but it's so recognizable. This feels like a mean performance too, but it's probably not. And it's forgettable. This is cool. I don't know what this is from, but it's cool. I like that under layer that's like sheer. That's pretty fun. I like how they put something sheer underneath instead of over it, like this monstrosity from the Ellen show. Yeah, something dark and sheer needs to be underneath. I think this is also from the Story of Us music video. Her just holding a book puts it like, 10 points ahead for me. The blouse is flattering and she's holding a book. She's being a good role model. I almost gaslit myself into thinking this was from the Speak Now tour. It's not. It fits really well. I like how it's tailored, but there's better looks. Not a whole lot though. Now that I'm looking at the way this is distributed. <laughs> I feel like she wore this to play Enchanted, like one of the first live performances of it, but I could be wrong, but it's a vibe. This is so like horse girl coated, white puffy shirt. It kind of reminds me of Love Story. The Halter, Dear John, Last Kid, I think she played a few songs in this one. She also did the cover song in this dress. This was so fucking iconic. Also, did you guys know there was a second Dear John dress that looked like this? It was blue, but I think she wore it maybe once or twice and then just stuck to the purple one completely. This is so recognizable. People still like wear this to the era's tour. I don't think it's that great or that interesting, but it's universal. I think it's really accessible to recreate. I think that's honestly a huge key of Taylor Swift style is like, can it be emulated easily? Is it going to like live in our consciousness for a long time. And that one has withstood the test of time. This again, it's the hair that's getting me. That's just, I love that. I love that she hinted at this red era hair. This was a vibe too. I'm not a huge fan of the cream color, but I think the way everything is pieced together is interesting. Watercolory looking. I like how it fits. I don't think it's terrible. I remember this. Oh my God. This was, oh, what was this? That feels like a bit of a nod to this, obviously, but this hadn't happened yet. Here it is. It's a red carpet look. Oh my god, I love that the shoes match. I love the hair straightened and pushed to the side. This is underrated. This is a god tier look that's underrated. <laughs> no, I can't within good conscience put it above all of these. Honestly, it's right there, I think. Wait, let me go through and see if there are any more god tier ones that like really stand out to me. It's crazy to see her just at Target <laughs> pushing a grocery cart. Oh fuck, now this. No, yep, I'm sorry to say it. Fuck, I lost it. I can't drag it all the way up because there's too many. I dropped it and I lost it. This is God tier. I'm sorry. I will not be taking questions at this time, but what we got out of this, and honestly, I think it's cute and I think it's timeless. Trench coat with skinny jeans. She's wearing Oxfords, I believe, and that iconic fucking scarf. Yep, it wasn't red. It was navy with stripes. 
God, so many of these are so mid. There's so many like unrecognizable ones on here. Ooh, was this one she's saying Innocence? If I can recognize what it's from, it's at least not mid. Another Ellen Show appearance. Ooh, this was a vibe. This was so cool. I remember that one. This was the Grammys. I think this was the Mind music video. This one's okay though. I love how this fits. I think it's such a pretty style, but the color is weird. What is that? Yellowy ivory? I want to say mid just for the color. This is cute, but it's fine. I don't remember what that's from. This is a nod to the Story of Us music video, right? She had to have been playing Story of Us. This is the Hours music video. Girl looks rough. Girl looks really fucking rough in this outfit. She's playing like an exhausted nine to five worker, cosplaying as a regular person. This was when she sang with Zac Efron, wasn't it? It's fine. I don't know. I don't think it looks that good. This was kind of iconic. This feels so 22 music video coded underneath the god tier. What in the world even is this? This looks like it's from a music video, but I just can't remember. I have not watched some of these music videos in a very long time. Here we have again this like 20s flapper inspired look and I really like that. That would be like the top of the under god tier. Yeah, I like the design on that. It's simple, but it's really interesting. Is this also the mine music video? There's water behind her. Why do I feel like she wore like five different plain dresses? in that one. Oh my god, this was amazing. Amazing, iconic. I think this is one of the best Speak Now tour outfits. It's a lot better than that other red one she wore. The haunted dress! Fuck, I love this one. I love the gloominess, the spookiness. That's probably the most memorable look in the album booklet. She's playing piano in this one. It's a nice bluish color. It's forgettable. This is some street style. This is fine. It's better than some of the other florals she wore then. Oh god, here we go again with this like 70s strange high neck. The only thing I like about this is the fact that there's a dandelion pattern on it. So I think that's cute. But overall, she looks a little rough. This was from a shoot. Was it for the album cover? I can't remember. It's fine, but I really like the color. Why does this look so strangely shiny? This looks very, very cheap, but you know, not everything can be a sleigh. Oh my god, this was in the Mind music video when she married the love interest. Like, not actually, but in the music video. I think they could have done better. I don't know. The, I bet you think about me. Wedding dress slayed so hard, and I know she has like more resources now but even then like she was a grammy winning artist i'm so glad she took the sleeves off now that i see it on the model like on the runway i'm very glad she went with strapless it could have been worse i now feel grateful it should have been a lot better for what it was though a music video like look at this shit for the wonderstruck perfume commercial this like sat in our minds rent free i love the puffiness so fun i don't like this color because it looks like her skin tone maybe it is sheer but these peter pan colors were such a vibe at the time and i feel like it would have looked better if it was black the cut is really flattering though what in the hell is that? Are you serious right now? Is that just like a plain puffy winter coat? Is she on a carpet? There's no fucking way. I like the beanie. That was a vibe. This is not too bad, but it's mid compared to the really good ones. Like I can't in good conscience put it in the same tier as like these. You know what I mean? This looks like a wax figure. It just does. I like how that dress looks. That's top of the mid tier. This is a Teen Choice Awards wetsuit. Are you kidding? I mean, it's a fucking wetsuit. What do you expect from me? Here she's winning something. Plain black dress. It's fine. Ooh, polka dots. Fuck, I love polka dots on her. I think that's a better pattern than the florals for the most part. Okay, why would someone put this in this tier? She's literally holding an award in front of her dress, but it's a nice color, I guess. I might just go through really quick and put all of the mid ones in the mid category so we can talk about the absolute flops and the absolute slays, because I've been filming for too long at this point. neckline got so boring so fast. I've seen it so many times at this point. Here it is again, and in fucking mustard yellow. Again! Why was she so obsessed with this specific neckline in this specific color? That again looks comfy as all fucking hell. The polka dots just get me. Okay, 
let's chat i think this is so cute something about this is very red 1989 fall time i love the heeled oxfords the big chunky scarf with the trench coat and how all the colors are contrasting i think there actually was some thought put into this this is such a fucking ugly color on her this olive green you have to be so warm toned to wear something like this honestly this is really fucking ugly too i moved that up there while i wasn't talking but this what is this frumpy weird it doesn't even look like her such a strange scarf this is pretty good this is gonna be up there not god tier but up there i think this pattern is really cool we haven't seen anything like this yet this one is nice this is so cute this just feels similarly to the polka dots the stripes look cool and she's like promoting her perfume it's cute i miss that perfume i still have two bottles of it but i just i don't want to run out i hear vera lang pink princess is a dupe not the original princess but the pink one can't find that one either though she can't go wrong with something like this i'm sorry but this is such a sleigh especially for that time period it's giving legs chest arms she looks bronzed her lipstick looks really good the fit is so good this entire thing is slaying that's god tier this is fine mid this oh my god this feels so angsty i like this one top of the second this is again i just love the halter on her it feels reminiscent of the dear john dress from the tour this is princessy but like make it expensive i mean some of her princess dresses look budget and others look really nice this is fine i guess i like the cut but the color is weird this isn't one of those reds that looks really good on her polka dot this is cute that's classic this is so fucking ugly what is that i feel like i've seen people recently be like uh what is this like people who weren't fans then or maybe like were too young people are like what was she doing here <laughs> that's pretty bad i have to say now this a lot of people are roasting this one too but this was so fucking iconic for that time i remember so many people being obsessed with this look it was polarizing i actually quite like it but i also like when something makes people either love it or hate it this is fine i don't think it's that memorable this looks frumpy the cardigan's a little weird I I think the dress is good but you can't really tell because the cardigan's covering it i feel like this is what she wore when she sang 15 with miley cyrus that's a moment i like the embroidery that also feels still pretty applicable to today this was when she was dropping all the grammys yep this was an amazing look i love the mermaid style dress i don't think she'd done that before i like the color she changed it up from her typical silver or gold okay back to quick sorting the mids sorting the mids <laughs> This heart thing, I think it's cute and it's different because she wore so many weird dresses at this time. Top of the mid tier, it's really not that great, but compared to a lot of the other stuff she was wearing, this is so cute. Why do I feel like this was such a thing back in 2010 to have these like graphic designs, like to not actually have a bow on your shirt, but a drawing of one? Or like the guys would wear those t-shirts that had like tux designs on them. Oh my gosh, it's fun, it's a relic. This is so flattering. It's so plain, but oh my God, it just looks so good. I love this off the shoulder thing. Obviously it looks a lot more fitting to her body than mine is i'm literally over here like yanking it back down this is so marilyn monroe coded i feel like she hasn't done a whole lot of marilyn monroe inspo probably for good reason because it's hard to like compare yourself to such an icon but i love that it looks so cute i think she recreated it really well she did it in a lot classier of a way than kim kardashian <laughs> I can say that much. Young Taylor knows. She can predict shit. Something about this eight too. This is from some shoots. She looks like such a badass bitch. What is this with this hanging microphone? Oh my God. She looks like she's out of some kind of spy movie, like Men in Black or some shit. I don't know. I like this. I like the energy. I'm not even thinking about the outfit, honestly. What even is the outfit? A really plain dress. I probably would have categorized as mid. The shoes are kind of interesting. The zebra print. Oh my God. Do you remember the freaking chokehold zebra print hat on us then? But I really like how she accessorized it. I think it's like the hair, the sunglasses, and the bracelet that are making me favorite. Do I just let the shirt climb up my neck? Like, but then this gets so loose and weird. Do I just do this? That's so weird. How do I get it to stay? Whatever. We're an hour in at this point. This feels so Stevie Nicks. She looks so mature here. I love the adulty vibe of this. Evil never grow up. This is also top of mid tier, I think. Something about this feels so memorable. I don't remember this, but I fucking love it. I love the white bow tie. I love love the top hat. This feels like a nod to we are never ever getting back together before that even existed. And the look on her face, she knows she's slaying. Okay, I'm gonna go back to sorting the mids. <laughs>
this feels like red. I don't think this is in the correct era. Are we sure that wasn't 2012? What the hell is this? Okay, she's worn a couple heart shirts at this point, I think, but this one feels so juvenile. What is this? It looks like it was found in like the kids section of a Walmart. That's just, ooh, the pattern is rough. I like this. I like this gray color with the lacy black caps on the sleeves. What the fuck is this? What is this? I can't decide if I like it or hate it. It's so stiff. I understand this is from a magazine shoot for sure. Like she was following their creative direction. But, oh my God, she looks spooky. She looks like the woman in black. I don't think I'm a fan. This looks so good. Oh my God, this like Grammy promotional photo. She looks like a Grammy winner in this picture. I have no idea where this is from and I can't find it on Google. I like the energy of it. I can't really tell what the outfit is, unfortunately, but it's a yes for me, just for the energy. This I think was from the Keds commercial. It's very Taylor 2011, probably top of mid. This makes me angry because it looks like she's trying to recreate the Dear John dress without the halter. Like it's nearly the exact same color. You cannot recreate it feels wrong. Like it would be fine if we didn't have this image of the Dear John dress in our heads, but we do. This is really flattering. I like this black sparkly stuff. I think she looks really good in black. This is so pretty. I remember this. Those cutouts were fun. I think they were also a little bit scandalous for the time, which is nuts. Like she was so suppressed. That's why she didn't release I Can See You. I think this picture is iconic, but the outfit isn't. Yeah, we all know this picture and love it, but it's just a sweater. This key necklace. Fuck. I was obsessed with key necklaces in 2010 and 2011. I have so many still to this day in my jewelry box. We love an on-trend bitch. What can I say? The little headband thing. Oh, that was just a vibe. The hair to the side. This is horrendous. Is this a t-shirt? with some kind of sheer pink tulle dress over it. What is that? That's bad. This is so teardrops on my guitar as well. This dress is so plain and boring, but the way she's working it is giving me life. The way she's staring into the camera. It's not just about the outfit, it's about how you wear it. Here we have, for a second I thought this was the Union Jack British flag and I was like, oh, so she was like early to the party because we all were obsessed with these in 2012 and she even wore that Union Jack dress at the Victoria's Secret fashion show. But I think this is actually some kind of nautical anchor pattern. It's really cute and I think I would have been obsessed with this at the time. Pattern's fun. This looks so good and you can't even lie to me. I like the tool underneath because again, it's just one layer. I think I talked about that earlier in this video, but when there's just one layer of tool under the dress, for some reason, I think it just looks better as opposed to like 15 freaking frumpy ass layers as she did in this weird thing. I think that's a skirt actually, but either way, it should just be one layer. I don't know, it looks too busy, especially with such an intense pattern. Something about this is serving. I like how her blue eyes look with this shade of red. I don't even I know what the outfit is here but I love whatever necklace she's holding or like bracelets and the intensity in her stare. Again, it's not just the outfit, it's how you wear it. This feels Marilyn Monroe inspired too even though it's a black dress. Like the look on her face, the little fluffy thing on her head, I'm not sure exactly what that is. It looks like some kind of veil hat thing. This is so cute. Why don't we talk about this more? Is this from a shoot for a magazine? These sleeves are really cool. I know I've been bitching about these high ass necklines for like the entirety of this video but the sleeves redeem it. This is kind of a vibe too. It's like kind of scandalous. She's got her arms and her legs out and that was not super common for 2010 Taylor. This is a vibe too. It's very fearless era but I don't even give a shit. The confidence feels like Speak Now. The growing up that she did, it's like the one coming of age album and some of these photos really reflect that I think. This is a vibe. It feels like it would belong in like a timeless music video. Like it's so you were heading off to fight in the war. 50s retro, 40s retro, one of those, both of those probably. I like that one. What can I say? I feel like I've watched a lot of interviews with her in this dress and that's why it feels memorable. It also feels like the red era. Are we sure this is from the Speak Now era? Of course I'm gonna rate it high. It's like red. This is so juvenile. What the fuck is this? She looks like a Disney character. When they wear those like crazy outfits, nobody understands why they put them in those. That's what it feels like. This is fine. This skirt is kind of ugly. This sparkly dress with a mid outfit, but she's slaying the pose, but the outfit is not that good. <laughs> This jacket is really cool, but overall it's not that impressive of a look. It's just a nice jacket. If she wore it with something else, maybe. I like the scalloped pattern on this one. I think that's pretty cute. God, the color is weird. It's mid. This big bow is so fun. Top of the mid. The hair. Oh my God, the hair in this one. The dress is cool too, but God, it's the hair for me. Top of the mid, again. I have a love-hate relationship with this one because the hair and the neckline feels so restrictive, but something about it is also slaying, like the fit of it. That's gonna be the second tier. This looks like a cheap fabric and it's again that weird mustard yellow with the high neckline that she just kept doing. Bandagey, mm, I don't know, I don't think it looks that good. <laughs> Wow, 
why is that sweater so long? <laughs> it's very like sweater dress, it's just definitely frumpy. <laughs> to me that she seems to have had so many of the same type of dress. Like the amount of beige dresses or like off orange or peachy and like the amount of like light colored cardigans is insane but you can tell they're different ones every time. It's like why like if you're gonna wear essentially the exact same thing why not just repeat outfits then at least people will find you relatable. Like this one for example she could have worn any of the other beige dresses that she's been obsessed with during this era. She's literally just out here with headphones on like carrying a grocery bag. Or this one, she's just walking around after a concert, like, why so many beige high necklined dresses? So many! They're all so different, but they're not different, it's just you can tell that they're not the same dress. A lot of these are very casual day off photos, there's nothing like wrong with them, but she's just not like serving. But it's interesting because in this era that we're in right now, in 2023, even on her days off she's like serving. Like she definitely has a stylist coordinating everything. There's no way she didn't have a stylist for these two though. Well, I guess there's a reason. That person is probably not her stylist anymore. The sunglasses make this one kind of a vibe, but it's still not that impressive. Here again, another peachy high neckline thing. And then we have another one over here that's like different for sure. It's more pink, but it's like, why do you need so many similar dresses? Okay, so I really like the stripey thing she has going on. Again, I just think that looks really good on her. It's not that interesting, but it looks good. And compared to a lot of these other ones going on here, I'll fucking take it. The red lipstick and the trench coat just look really good. I think in my heart of hearts, I know that it's mid. This looks really form fitting and good. I think also the stripes are getting me. Stripes and polka dots, for some reason I have a soft spot for them with her. The sunglasses make this one look better. It's interesting to see her with this like bag, like she's just shopping. And I think we've referenced this one a lot in recent years. This scarf, I think this looks pretty good. It's gloomy and vibey, right above the mid tier. This panda is so cute. I feel like it's very 2010s and is still cute to this day. Like. You could wear this top just with like probably jeans as opposed to like tights and a skirt. Ooh, it's still mid though. Taylor pushing a grocery cart. That was my favorite genre of paparazzi photos. It's a cute outfit. I like the contrasting colors. Top of mid. I almost don't even want to judge this one because she's obviously like probably going through something. I don't think she has any makeup on. She's just drinking a coffee trying to mind her business. But it's a picture on this tier ranking thing so I'm gonna rank it and the hemline of this vest thing she's wearing over this long sleeve is just not, it's just not. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. It's not working for her. I don't think that would work for anyone, honestly. Why is it sloped like this? Her just walking around in a Target is so freaking weird to see at this point. There was a time when this used to be normal. The dress is fine. It's a freaking dress you wear to Target. I don't know. This is really cute, actually. The red with the black and white stripe. This is part of that really retro red era feel that I just have a soft spot for. This is underrated. It's underrated. It's so Taylor Swift. This would work even today, just maybe with like jeans instead of a skirt. I actually I actually think this color and this cut is very flattering. Again with the halter, I think she just looks really good in a halter, but the color is also really pretty. I actually think that's a really similar color to this one. I think I was more bitching about the neckline on this one though. I'm just gonna leave it where it is. This is literally workout clothes, but I like the pocket. Why is the tank top cute? But it's workout clothes. I mean, it's gonna be mid. This is a monstrosity. Oh wait, we already rated this one from a different angle. <laughs> What is that? That's probably the worst outfit on here. Yeah, God, that bottom tier is rough. This is cute. The skinny jeans with the trench coat were a vibe. It also reminds me of the Jake Gyllenhaal picture. Okay, we are down to the final five. Stripes, I think this would look better with some actual color instead of just this navy and black and white. I'm trying to be a little harsher on the stripes just because they're stripes doesn't mean they're amazing. They're literally just stripes. This is such a cute color. I feel like this is such a nice vibrant blue. I like the neckline. It's not that like restrictive high up. I think it would lose a couple points for me if it was, but it's interesting. It's a, it's different than the other stuff on here. I don't think she's even worn the shade of blue yet. Yeah, the closest we have is like a sky blue. Top of mid. This looks so Christmassy, which is so Taylor Swifty to have a red bow on your shirt. And this is really nice color, but it's nothing special. And this, is this an ad for like this brand of cameras or something? It can't be. This is reminiscent of the Speak Now cardigan that I am going to be getting in November, unfortunately, because I ordered one of the last batches, but I love that deep purple. I think it looks so good, especially on blondes. It's part of the reason I ordered the cardigan because I don't look too great in the light ones. Yeah, I've been hoping for a dark one and I just think this slays the color. The dress is fine as a dress. 
Now let's review the god tier ones. I was very selective this time. Sometimes I'm a little indecisive. Yeah, what can I say? I feel like this is objectively correct. <laughs> it's not that the Speak Now era was terrible. I just think it was kind of forgettable in terms of fashion. There were a few moments where she really leaned into that boho early 2010s vibe that was so popular that we saw on stars like Vanessa Hudgens. But for the most part, it seems like she was really working out the kinks and coils of a red retro look. You see it a lot in this mid tier, these high neck lines and these 50s inspired looks that just didn't hit all the way. I think she wasn't able to fully grasp that and how to successfully execute it until about 2012 or 2013. And why does she have so many of the same type of beige or gray or light pink or light orange dress? Isn't that strange? So many high neckline mustard yellow strange things over here, down here. And then we have the monstrosities. I don't think there were as many monstrosities during the red era. Let's just say that. There were a few flops. Yeah, overall, I think it's just nostalgia that has been keeping us in a chokehold over a lot of this. And I know people have complained about a few of the Enchanted Eras tour dresses, but overall, I think those are going to age a lot better than some of the stuff she was doing during the Speak Now era. I think the Fearless tour outfits and the Red tour outfits look a lot better than a lot of these. Some of the best outfits from this era are from the album booklets or the music videos. You know what I mean? Like the story of us, mean. We have the haunted dress. We have the wonderstruck perfume ad. That was where she really was serving. And of course, the Speak Now album cover. She actually fed us for that look. But yeah, probably pretty ironic coming from someone whose makeup literally looks like this meme. But you know, I think it's fair game to commentate on fashion when it's somebody who's spending a lot of money and has a lot of different dresses that are essentially the same dress. I feel like it's fair game. <laughs> this is literally a top from Ross, okay? I'm not about to wear the designers Taylor actually wears. I feel like it's fine for us right regular folk to still have fashion opinions even if we shop at Ross and I would love to hear all of yours down in the comments. Do you feel like any of the flops that I rated are actually winners? Probably not. I feel like I have a very basic bitch opinion but I also would like to know what your favorite outfits are from the Speak Now era. Are they from the tours or are they from the album booklets like me? Maybe the music videos? I can't get the mean flapper dress out of my freaking head. Why did she not wear something like that for the actual performances of it? If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any requests for videos down in the comments because I am just out of ideas right now. If you want to follow me on my Instagram, it is right here. And if you want to follow me on my TikTok, that is right here. I will see you all next week for a video reacting to your unpopular Taylor Swift opinions. Eras Tour, Speak Now Taylor's version. Yeah, I'll be covering all of that next week. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye guys.